With a large number of autoclave configurations, manufacturers, and models, selecting an autoclave that meets your needs can be a daunting task. Not only do you have to select the model that meets your operations needs, but the pressure of making a large purchase that your organization will have to deal with for the next couple of decades makes this decision especially difficult. Today I'll be covering the top five things to look for when choosing an autoclave sterilizer. So without further ado, number one, loading capacity. People say size doesn't matter, which is an expression that's probably not true in most cases and definitely not true when looking for an autoclave. A top loading autoclave with its vertical configuration and stackable baskets maximizes the use of space for an autoclave. This can be a major advantage, especially when compared to front loading autoclaves in which a box sits in a sideways facing cylinder which wastes space and compromises loading capacity from the start. With stackable baskets such as these, you can double and even triple stack, allowing to load up to 27 300 milliliter beakers in a space that takes up less than three square feet. So in terms of loading capacity, top loading autoclaves provide more bang for your buck for the large amount that can be loaded inside. And number two on our list, compactness and use of space. Another thing to consider is where you're going to put your autoclave and how much space your autoclave will take up. If we're talking about autoclaves that are under tens of thousands of dollars, they can basically be categorized into benchtop autoclaves or floor standing autoclaves. Benchtop autoclaves, as in their name, will take a valuable benchtop space, taking away space that can be used for other types of equipment. In addition, because front loading autoclaves had the box built into the horizontally oriented cylinder, you're not going to be fitting much in there anyway. So, so much for an efficient use of benchtop space. With floor standing autoclaves, you don't have the problem of taking up valuable benchtop space and can pretty much place it anywhere you have a source of power. Tomy floor standing autoclaves, like the one here, take up less than three square feet of floor space, giving you the flexibility of placing them just about anywhere, even at the end of your bench. Not only do they save valuable benchtop space, but isn't it nice to have an autoclave literally by your side? And our next consideration, easy installation. Installing an autoclave can be a messy affair involving a tremendous amount of time, money, and dealing with those great site managers and contractors, not to mention breaking your budget in the process. Many autoclaves require electricity, a source of water, and in some cases steam and ventilation requiring additional plumbing and work that's more work than it's worth. Not only does installation take extra time and money, but they also limit where you can place your autoclave, sometimes even in another room or building altogether. While some autoclaves require tons of work and money to install, others such as this Tomy here simply need to have water added into the chamber. The only other thing that you need is a source of electricity. So you can deal with all of this or not have to deal with anything at all. I think you can make the right choice on this one. And while we're on the topic of easy, number four, ease of use. One of the most important factors and one that you're going to have to deal with for the life of the autoclave is its ease of use. For some people, this may even be the number one factor that they look for. The method of loading is completely different depending on the autoclave. For front loading types, one must carefully load items, placing them one by one into the autoclave and carefully arranging them as you place them inside. For top loading autoclaves, you have these handy baskets. You can easily preload your items and load these into the chamber one by one. And as mentioned earlier, these can be double or triple stacked. These baskets can also double as something to carry your items to the autoclave in. So you won't have to purchase one of those big morbid metal carts and have to find somewhere to store it when not in use. Moving and storing your autoclave can also play a factor in their ease of use. With a front-loading bench top, you'll need a team of people and special equipment to move one of those things. On the other hand, this particular model comes on wheels and can be moved easily across a flat surface for storage. Not only is this convenient on a daily basis, but you'll really thank Tomy when moving day comes around. And last but not least, number five, the bottom line. In spite of our best hopes and intentions, money is what makes the world go round, and it's also going to be one of the major deciding factors on which autoclave you'll choose. Keep in mind that the money you'll be spending on your autoclave is not only the purchase price, but the long-term maintenance and service costs are equally, if not more, important. The most important factor is the reliability of the autoclave. This not only has to do with the autoclave design, 
but also where the parts are sourced and where it's manufactured. Tomi Autoclaves still their manufacturing operation in Japan, a country that is known for its emphasis on product quality and long-lasting reliability. If properly maintained and cared for, this autoclave has a track record of lasting more than 15 years, which is quite remarkable because it means that nearly all these first generation models are still up and running. Another important but forgotten item is a lid gasket. Always consider the type of lid gasket, how often it requires changing, and how much it's going to cost. This sturdy lid gasket from Tomi Autoclaves lasts a thousand operating hours, meaning it needs to be changed up to once every three years. Other manufacturers' lid gaskets require gasket changes almost every month. At several hundred a piece, this can add up to be more than the price of your autoclave in just a few years. So much for saving a few bucks on your autoclave, it's in those flimsy gaskets where all of your budget's going. So play the laboratory management game smart by looking not only at the initial purchase cost, but also the long-term upkeep cost as well. So, in summary, when looking for an autoclave, take all factors into account, including the needs of your operation, the size and configuration of your laboratory, and the time and effort that it will take for you to install, use, and maintain your autoclave. Also think not only about the short term, but the long term as well, by looking at the upkeep costs that will either spare you or haunt you for years to come. If you've made it this far, thank you for watching and make sure to visit tomi.amuseinc.com or click the link below to learn about Tomi SX Series autoclaves and how they can save you lots.